Hi, my name is John O'Toole of BMC Software Customer Support, and this is the first in a series of videos which demonstrate how to install and configure Yellowfin for live reporting in a BMC Server Automation 8.8 environment. There are two main stages to setting up Yellowfin to work with BSA 8.8. The first stage is installation. This is where we run the Yellowfin installer and create its database and database user. The second stage is post-install configuration. This is where we configure Yellowfin to communicate with BSA. Both phases are required in order to make live reporting functional in your BSA environment. This video will focus on the installation phase in a Windows and SQL Server environment. The next video will focus on the post-install configuration phase, also in a Windows and SQL Server environment, and future videos will cover the same topics in a Linux and Oracle environment. The steps being followed in this video are taken directly from the Installing and Configuring Yellowfin section of the BSA 8.8 online documentation. Please review this documentation carefully before and during the install, as it contains important information about prerequisites and is frequently being updated with additional notes to help avoid issues. The Yellowfin application will have its own database, separate from the BSA database. When it comes to setting up the Yellowfin database, we have two options. Option one is to create the Yellowfin database and database user manually from SQL Server Management Studio prior to the install. This is a good option to use if your DBA does not feel comfortable providing DBA credentials to the Yellowfin installer. Option two is to allow the Yellowfin installer to create the database and database user automatically. This is a good option to use if the DBA does feel comfortable in sharing the DBA credentials. In this video, we will use option one and we will be creating the Yellowfin database and database user manually in advance of running the installer. Manually creating the Yellowfin database and database user in SQL Server is straightforward. From the SQL Server Management Studio, we right click on databases and select new database. From here, we provide a database name of our choosing and all the other options we can leave as default unless your DBA prefers to set some of these explicitly. The next step is to create the Yellowfin user login. We can do this from security logins by right clicking and selecting new login. We then provide our username. We select SQL Server Administ Authentication. We provide our password making a careful note of the username and password as they will be required later when we run the installer. For simplicity, I'm going to choose not to enforce the password policy, but that's not a requirement. I'm going to select my default database of the Yellowfin database, and I'm going to change my language. Then under user mapping, I'm going to make this new login a DB owner of the Yellowfin database. And that's it on the database side. I now have my new Yellowfin user and Yellowfin database. The next step is to run the Yellowfin installer on the server which you have designated to be your Yellowfin server. As mentioned in the Before You Begin section of the documentation, Java 1.7 or later must be installed on the Yellowfin, Yellowfin server in advance. You can confirm Java 1.7 or 1.8 is installed by running the java minus version command from the command line. Once you confirm either Java 1.7 or 1.8 is installed, we can proceed with the Yellowfin installation. Here we see the two files required for installing and configuring Yellowfin. Both files are downloaded from the BMC download site. For the installation step, we will just be using the Windows executable. For the post-installation configuration step in the next video, we will be using the zip file. We will now proceed to running the Yellowfin Windows installer by right-clicking and selecting to run as administrator. The first couple of screens are pretty straightforward as we select a language and accept the license agreement. Here we come to the pack selection screen. Here it is important to ensure that only the core pack is selected. We need to uncheck the tutorial content option, which is selected by defaults, or else we will encounter license-related errors later. Once we press Next, we are then presented with a license screen. 
As mentioned in the documentation, BNC customers do not need to select a license file, so they can press Next. Next, we are prompted for the web server port. In many environments, this will default to port 8080. In my case, I have another application running on 8080, so it has detected that and defaulted to 8082. I'm also going to select to install the optional Windows service. Next, I will select my database type, which is Microsoft SQL Server. Next, we come to the Yellowfin database details page. This is where we can provide the database connection information for the database and user which we created previously. First, I'll provide my database host and then the port on which SQL Server is listening. In my case, I have a default instance, but if we had a named instance, it could be provided here. I'm going to select not to create the database because I previously done so manually. You can see as you toggle this switch, how the administrator user area becomes either required or not. Because we are selecting not to create it in the installer, it is not required. Next, we come to the user area. We are using SQL Server authentication. So I provide my username and password. And again, we have the option to create the user if we want to. Once we press next, we're, prevent, we're presented with the option to do a test, which is always a good idea. And we see that that was successful, which brings us to the next page. Next, we are prompted for the Yellowfin installation path. You can select any local path you wish, but BMC recommends removing any spaces and punctuation symbols from the path. This avoids the need to escape these characters later during the post-installation configuration phase. So here we're going to use the, remove the period and the space. And the installation now begins. The installation itself only takes a minute or two to complete. And we can select the defaults on the last screen. Here we're provided with the URL will be used later for testing and we can press Done. Now that the installer has completed, we will want to test Yellowfin by starting the Yellowfin Windows service. By default, this startup type is set to manual, so you may wish to change to automatic going forward. Once Yellowfin has been started, we can try to hit the URL. Again, this is the port provided during the install, and because I'm on this server, I'm providing localhost. And here we see we now successfully have the Yellowfin portal page. The final step in testing is to log in as the default Yellowfin admin user as described in the documentation. The default password is test. This is actually what a successful login looks like. Don't worry about these errors just yet. This is because we've not yet configured Yellowfin to talk to BSA. Finally, we'll cover the location of the Yellowfin install log in case any errors are encountered up to this point. This file is located in the specified Yellowfin installer directory. If any errors are encountered, please contact BMC customer support and provide this log. Thank you for watching. Please proceed to the next video in this series, which will cover how to configure your new Yellowfin install to communicate with BSA.